Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky, St. Stephen Baptist Church with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master. Thank you so much for joining me uh, for another powerful point to ponder. And we're going to pick up on our theme, a theme that I hope you'll put down in a very conspicuous place, but more importantly, that you will get into your mind and your spirit. The great things happen as a result of divine human partnerships, that God orders our steps. But after God orders our steps, it's up to us to move our feet. And our primary scripture we've been looking at is Psalm 37, verse 23 and 24, where it says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. That word order literally is the, it's the Hebrew word kun, K-O-O-N, and it literally means to establish something or to set something up. And all the blessings that we have in our lives is because God has set something up for us. God has opened the door for us. God has put people in our lives to help set us up. That's what Psalm 37 verse 23 says. Look at that verse again. It says, Psalm 37 verse 23. It says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. But look at verse 24, though he fall, he shall not utterly be cast down. Stop here, I want you to look at that. Though he fall, which is to say that when God orders your steps and you start moving your feet, that does not mean that life won't trip you up sometimes. And so just because you're being tripped up does not mean that God has not ordered your steps. Just because things are not happening perhaps the way you want them to happen, don't have second thoughts and say, was God really ordering my steps? Or was that just me? It says that even those whose steps have been ordered by God, verse 24 says, though he fall. God has ordered your steps, but you still have difficulty. God has ordered your steps, but you still have challenges. Don't think that just because God has ordered your steps, you won't have challenges. In fact, let me say this. Many times when God has ordered your steps and you're moving your feet, sometimes you may have more challenges because there's always an adversity or the adversary, the word adversary, of course, is Satan, who is going to try to trip you up. But it said, here's the good news, though he fall, he shall not utterly be cast down. Now, if you're looking for an example of this, God ordering someone's steps and then they fall while God's ordering their steps and how God uses his hand. Notice that last verse, last line in verse 24, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. So here's somebody, God has ordered their steps, they've moved their feet, they've fallen, but they're, having, they're not out of it because God has taken his hand and picked them up from utter devastation. And the greatest example of this is what happened to Simon Peter. Matthew chapter 14, Verse 22, look at what it says. Matthew 14, verse 22 says this. Then Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead on the other to the other side of the lake while he sent the people away. After sending the people away, he went up a hill by himself to pray. When evening came, Jesus was there alone. And by this time, the boat, that's the boat the disciples was in, was far out in the lake tossed by the waves because the wind was blowing against it. Between three and six o'clock in the morning, Jesus came to his disciple walking on the water. When they saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they screamed with fear. Jesus spoke to them at once. Courage, he said, it is I, don't be afraid. Then Peter spoke up. Lord, if it is really you, order. There's that word. God orders 
my steps set me up to do something that has never been done before, walk on water. <laughs> and God wants to set you up to do something that you've never been never, never done before. Order me, order my steps to come out on the water to you. And notice that word order, the same word that we found in Psalm 37, which says the, the, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he's praying, Lord, order my steps, which means that's what you should pray. You should pray, Lord, order me to my steps to do something I've never done before. Order me to come out to on the water to you. And Jesus says, come. That's the only, come answer Jesus. He, he didn't give him any assurances. He didn't explain to him how he was going to keep him up on the water. I mean, after all, Peter has feet, not fins. He's a human, not a fish. God didn't explain anything to him. The many of us, before we would have started walking, we would have said, no, God, you got to give me some more guarantees. I'm in the middle of a storm. I've never walked on water before. You got to tell me how you're going to fix it. But we walk by faith. The only thing Jesus said was come. Now, listen carefully. If Peter had started walking on the water without first asking God to order his steps, he would have been presumptuous. You never start moving your feet until after you've got clearance from God. After God has spoken to your heart and says, you know what? God wants me to come. God wants me to move my feet. But once God, Jesus said, come, and if Peter had not come, he would have been walking in disobedience. So Jesus said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and started walking, which means that Jesus ordered his steps, set him up, and then Peter started walking. And what does it mean to walk? It means to move your feet. So Peter starts moving his feet, but when he noticed the strong wind, he was afraid and started to sink down in the water, he started tripping up. Remember what we read in verse 24? And verse 24, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Though he fall. Peter had his steps ordered. God ordered his steps. Peter started moving his feet. Go back to Matthew chapter 14 again. And look, if you will, go back. But when he noticed the strong wind, he was afraid and started to sink down in the water. Save me, Lord, he cried. At once, Jesus reached out and grabbed him, used his hand. Now go back, if you will, to our primary scripture, Psalm 37, verse 23 through 24, and you will see that this scripture came alive for Simon Peter. It says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. God ordered people to get out of the boat, set him up to do something he'd never done before. So Peter started walking on the water. God had ordered his steps. He's moving his feet and he fell. But notice what verse 24 says. It says, uh, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. In other words, Peter didn't drown. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. In other words, Jesus reached down and grabbed Peter and lifted him up. Now, Peter tripped up. And when God orders your steps and you move your feet, there will be times when, yes, you will trip up. You may trip up and fall. But what God has ordained, no devil will be able to prevent from happening even the times when you trip up. God not only picked him up, but God helped to see him through. And I'm here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, just like Simon Peter, if you ask God to order your steps, God is going to enable you and set you up to do some things that is impossible. Only God could make it happen to walk on water, to do something so significant. But once God says, come, and you still stand in the boat, there's a book that was written several years ago which, with the title, you can't walk on water unless you get out of the boat. In other words, you can't do great things in your life if you're not moving your feet. And God will 
when you trip up, take his hand and keep you uplifted and keep you. That's why you don't have to be afraid to step out on faith because when you step out on faith, you're, you're really stepping out on the promises of God and the assurance that God will be with you. Don't forget this principle. God will order your steps, but it's up to you to move your feet. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that you would bless your word and bless your people today and help us to be like Peter, trust you. All we have is, a, is the command, come. We don't know how you're going to do it. We have, you, haven't, you haven't given us all the details. You just said, come, help us to move our feet. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for being with me. Well, today is Wednesday and tonight is Bible study at St. Stephen Baptist Church. And I want to encourage you to join us in Bible study tonight. Uh, it starts at 6.30. And at 6.30, um, Ms. Crystal, Crystal Goodner Spratt will be with us to lead us in our pre-worship experience. And then I will come and I've got a word that I want to share with you tonight. So join us tonight in Bible study. If you don't have a church home, look, everybody needs a church home. So we invite you to become a part of St. Stephen Church. Contact us. Uh, email is newstart at ssclive.org. Peace and blessings to you. And um, look, don't forget that during this COVID-19, please stay safe, stay sane, and if you can, stay home. I'll see you in church tonight. God bless you.